Man, I have found the spot. I didn't. I don't know why I didn't think about it because the the gang stalker people, they don't like cameras and shit on them, right? They don't want you. They don't want to be exposed, right? Man, there is cameras all over this place right here. It's the little park that's right here, and as you, I don't know, it's like the entryway to the police station here downtown. And uh, I, I always thought, man, that's a peaceful spot. And nobody's ever there, you know. And uh, now I figured it out. Yeah, they don't, they don't like no motherfucking cameras and exposure and being exposed. So here I am at 1401, man, whatever street I'm on. 14, 14th or 13th or something like that. All right. Anyways, yeah, another another day with a guy next to me telling me, how, yeah, in 13B, a uh, Hispanic guy uh, sitting there telling me all night, man, how he's going to kill me and blah, 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 and kill my dog and, and uh, telling other people, man, he'll buy him some drugs if they'll stab me in the shower yeah man really man and these people that i've been this shit's been going on for a minute and uh shit for five six weeks and i've caught i went up there and talked to staff two three four times man ain't, ain't nobody oh have you are you taking your medication i'm like i'm not on no fucking medication well maybe you should i said man the motherfucker i said so i recorded it right then they acted like they got butt hurt wanted to throw me out because i recorded them and I said, oh, well, it didn't happen here, but it really did. I recorded him sitting right, you know, his head's right there at mine, man, and there's a little crack between the cubicles, man, and he sits there and just on and on, man, day in, day out. Then to get away from him, I come out outside, man, the place, and got some kind of fucking weirdos dealing with here, man. You know, that's the sole purpose of going in there and doing all that kind of stuff so I could get away from the weirdos and the weird shit. Man, I got this dude. Con I mean, I'm scared to go to fucking sleep, man. What am I? Fuck. Got to go on the goddamn lamb from this motherfucker, man. Look, when I'm out and about, he'll be over on another corner, man. But then they say, well, we can't do nothing about him on the outside. But then when you call the cops, man, they don't show up. So then you go to the 1401, where I went to several times, and get told they're not going to take a report, you know, and, uh, that it's just my conscience bothering me because of the past things I've probably done, is what the motherfucker told me. And I'm like, oh, so, you know, what the fuck ever, dude? No, my conscience is pretty fine. I'm, at, I, I'm, I'm really trying to be at peace with myself, man, to be honest with you. And, and I'm trying not to let things bother me. You know, and I, and I, you know, I'm trying to, like, make that change. I'm middle-aging and shit and everything, you know, and grandbabies, and I want to chill out so I can see my grandkids, you know, and, uh, anyways, uh, these fuckers ain't letting me do it. Not easy anyway, man, or not easy as I'd like it to be. And I'm telling you, man, this is it's bullshit. You can't, you can't get the cop. Then they tell me to, um, to, uh, go, uh, well, I end up calling a hotline, man, for organized stalking. And uh, it gives me the attorney general's or a district attorney's office. So I talked to this. They called me back. Actually, called me back, man, like two or three times. And then uh, uh, they said, well, just go file these papers, and then we'll go from there on it. Well, fuck. It's going gonna, it's gonna to cost me six. I found the motherfucking chick that's, that's admit, that I'm putting on there on the paperwork is the lead one. But the thing is, I had to have her address. Well, it cost me 60 fucking dollars to get this bitch's address, man. You know what I'm saying? And, but I'm, I'm hitting her up, man, and third parties, and Harry McNally. Uh, you know, I'm putting putting the whole gig on it. Johnny McNally and third parties. Come on. Uh and I'm going to put all that on there and then the next time I call the cops man, I'm going to tell them I got a restraining order against this person and her friends and blah 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 and you know I'm trying to give it a good shot man I want me a little place to live a little apartment and everything I'd like to be able to get up maybe go piddle around at the paint store or something you know and pick up some little side jobs but uh, anyways uh, yeah the um the one that, man, I know he's a gypsy, man. I can see it all over his inbred fucking ass, man. Fucking picky, man. I can tell. Then there's another one I'm suspecting him, too, man. 
he rolls around all the time, man, in a little wheelchair and got a goatee and some gray hair. I've seen him somewhere before. I think I've I've seen him like uh, in the trailer park or you know at the camp back in Memphis at Chevy Drive, and uh, kind of fat. Yeah, I've seen that guy before. Seems like it's been some years, but I think he's I think he's a traveler too. And I uh, swear up and down the other day, man, I seen Harry driving a little uh, a little bitty black truck, man. He hurried up and turned his head, too. He was picking somebody up, man, and, and they were, like, turning the corner, and I hadn't hit the corner at the same time. He tried to hurry up and turn his fucking head, but she can't miss. Man, you're going to notice a troll driving a fucking little black-ass truck, a little B210-type, 1970, 80-type stuff. Thought, man, that's Harry, and then I seen him again not long later, man, and then I ain't seen him no more since. But anyways, all right, well, it's about Easter, I guess. You know, and Harry, uh, you know, that's like when I last time I worked for him. Um, hang on, I gotta get this ball. Come on. Come on, get up here. All right, you see that? Come here, man. Uh, yeah, but on the thing with that guy, on, you know, with them guys, I mean, are they get, yeah, anyway, some guys, because then the skinny one, man, dude, he's coming down. The one that they offered to pay some money to, he's coming down, this, coming up the stairs as I'm going down. And right as I go to step on the thing, I had a kind of feeling to look around, and I looked around, and dude had turned around and was fixing to shove me down the fucking stairs, man, or hit me, one or the other. I know in the older Mexican cat with him, it's about all right that was trying to give me a job. But I ain't leaving nowhere with nobody, man. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that, man. I want to get my dog, man, um, to a safe place, and then I'm going to go check in somewhere, man, and... and uh, get a evaluation I don't know man but see that one guy he says don't do it but I think if somebody actually sat down and let me uh, let me talk and, and break you know break it down without me having to be in a hurry because I always feel like I'm in a, a big hurry that I've got to hurry up and say what I've got to say and it kind of sounds irrational when I don't have time to sit and think about it and try to say it in the right, right ways uh, well, it's like a couple gang stalkers there going by so uh, it's time for me to get off of here. Uh, it's Easter. I know that the boys will be back, and I'll be there at Easter too because I'm gonna have a new grandbaby. All right, peace out, you guys.